What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to add structural walls and footings to our building model. Okay, so the first part of the exercise, let's place a structural foundation wall. Okay, so let me just zoom into this area here. Okay, and then let's select our structure tab and then I'll be using here my structural wall. So I'm going to select this one and then from the properties, I'm going to select here basic wall foundation 300 mm concrete type. Okay, and then after that from the options bar, so let me just change this. So the depth is, uh, let's say 1950. Okay, and then after that for the location line, I'm going to select here core face um, interior. So let me select that one. And then since this is rectangular in shape, I'm going to use from the draw panel here the rectangle tool. So I'm going to pick this and then I'm going to pick on the upper left corner here of my uh, slab. So I'm going to pick that. Okay, and then... I'm going to create here. Here's my second point. There you go. And then I'm going to select here modify. So if I'm going to check this in my 3D view, so let me click default 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. So I'm going to change my visual style to uh, fine and then the visual style to shaded. So this is now how it looks like. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place continuous wall footings and then after that we're going to add isolated footings. Okay, so let me just go back again to my uh, main floor. And then let us now, uh, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select from the structure tab I'm going to select here, you see this one foundation panel. So I'm going to select here wall. Okay, so structural foundation wall. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'll be using this wall foundation continuous uh, footing. So I'm going to place my cursor over one of my structural wall, the one that I have created. I'm not going to click that, I'm just going to hover my pointer. And then I'm going to press tab once. And then as you can see, it will highlight the chain of walls. So once it highlights, so I'm going to click that to place the continuous wall footings under the wall. So that's it. Okay, so I'm going to select modify and then let's check this out again in 3D view. So let me go to the view tab and then I'll select your tile views. There you go. And that's the one. Okay, so I just created here my continuous wall foundation. So this is my wall footing. Okay, so now the next uh, part of the exercise, I'm going to create here an isolated uh, footing. So from the structure tab, so here on the foundation, I'm going to use here isolated. So it will add footings or pile caps to the building model. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then here on the multiple panels, so there's an option uh, at columns, right? So I can select this one for me to be able to place my isolated footings at the column. Okay, so I can select this. And then after that, I'm going to do that here in 3D view. So I'm going to use a window selection like this. As you can see, it's now highlighted. I'm going to select that. That's the one. So that's the preview. You see the preview? That one. That's the preview, the color white. So once I selected here, finish. So Revit will automatically place that at the bottom of that column. So as you can see here, an attached structural foundation will be moved to the bottom of the column, which is uh, natural. Okay, so once uh, you see that, just ignore that, just close that warning, and then you can now select here, modify. So as you can see here, there's now your 
uh, isolated footings at your column. So that's the one here in my uh, 3D view. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, clean up these uh, corners here. You see there's an overlapping of my isolated footing to my uh, continuous uh, wall foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the geometry. Okay, so to do that from the modify tab, so let's look for geometry panel. So there's the geo, uh, join geometry. So just click that one. It creates clean joints between two or more hosted elements that share a common face, such as walls and floors. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to select my uh, wall foundation. And then I'm going to select this footing. There you go. So it's now clean up. So it's now clean up. Okay, so let me do it here as well. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to select this one. There you go. So it's now clean up, clean up. And this one here and then select that isolated footing. Okay, so let's clean up this one as well. And then this one. There you go. Okay, so it's now all cleaned up. You see this one here? Okay, and same with the corner here. So it's all cleaned up. Okay, so basically that's how you add your uh, structural walls and footings in your architectural uh, model. There you go. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.